today I'm at the Black Whale Horse Camp in Hoosier National Forest. This is a Friday, so early in the day. I came down early, set up the teardrop. There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, Indiana area uh, YouTube content creators coming here tonight and just a little get together, get to know each other kind of thing. But I came early, so I'm going to hike. Um, and tomorrow they're going to hike in, and it's not very far to the place that they intend to go and set up camp, and they're going to uh, backcountry camp tomorrow night. So I brought some USDA firewood. And you can find firewood out there and burn it. But there's nothing like a good seasoned smokeless fire. So I'm going to do everything I can to carry this to that spot for them. So that was a beautiful hike in here. It's a wonderful day today. It's probably about 40, probably about 50 degrees, I say. Sunshine and light breeze. Oh. So, I don't know how much two bundles of firewood weighs, but it's more than my pack weighs, I'll tell you that. So there'll be people out here to tomorrow night at this camp spot. And we'll enjoy this firewood. Sitting around, staying warm when the evening temperatures roll around. I'm walking this morning with Brian Carlson. He's a YouTuber that I just met this morning. We're doing this uh, road trail here in the Deem, Deem Wilderness. We'll circle around. We're doing a clockwise loop and meet the other guys up at a little pond campsite that where I took the wood yesterday. And uh, so it's been a fun trip of people with like interests getting together for a little good time out in the woods. Uh, I think some more are gonna be at the pond later tonight. So it's been fun so far. Can't imagine it not being fun tonight. Good for about six, seven miles a day. You know, she's, she's got a maybe not, not light or something like that. She's like, we got, I got a cooler back of the truck up yourself. So we're like, yeah, block well. 
That's like a 27 mile loop or something we did. Shut a plant down and it alerts all the carriers so we can divert drivers and stuff. This is now the Copalo Trail. And we still got a little ways to go yet. I think our total for today will uh, just be near eight miles, probably. And we'll meet those other guys. They walked, it's a little over two miles to a, to a livestock or a, uh, habitat pond and there's an established area where they would like you to camp if you are hiking out here there's already an established area there so they were walking there going the other direction to shorter leg and Brian and I decided to go this longer way and get a little get a little hiking time in on our legs today and meet up with those other guys at that site and then there'll be, I think I said earlier, there'll be some other hikers coming in. And they know where that spot is, so it'll be a convenient meetup place. For, I think it's going to stay up in the 30s tonight, low 30s. So we've got Carlson's, I think it's Carlson's Adventures. He's walking with me today, and that hiking guy and trail medic I'll have channels by those names and on YouTube and so there'll be a lot of videos of this trip different perspectives of the same thing mine will probably be the best I just laugh. It is what it is. And so we're going to see what this peak re refuel mill tastes like. Oh my goodness. Always good to have a sister. Look, well, if it isn't Captain Chris Corbett and his gang, <laughs> help me change it. Not only did it have one hole, not two holes, but three holes in the tar, and it wasn't on the flat part of the tar; it's right on the edge. So I got to buy a new set of tires. Then we come here with my new drone, drone, drone. I hit a limb and crashed it into the lake. So we retrieved it. It's over there drying off now. And I thought, okay, well, I still got my, my phone, but it's kind of low on juice. So I go to plug it in and it says, lightning port detects moisture and it won't work. 
Oh my God. The yeah. phone is eight days old. Twelve hundred dollar phone. Oh my God. Is that is all of it? Sir. Well, I haven't cut myself yet. <laughs> but I haven't started playing with the fire either. So just a, they did make me stop patani. Maybe you should just uh, you know sit down and relax. <laughs> I didn't bring anything to drink. Everything needs to have more than one use. <laughs> and today this was a cooler for my chicken kebab. And those things have been out of the cooler since early this morning and they definitely are still cold. Do that voodoo that you do. We all, um, the, my chicken turned out okay. I, <coughs> chicken kebabs turned out very well because they were pre-made. Mine were from scratch. I raised the chickens. Is that the disclaimer there? I raised Mine the were better because they were pre-made? Yeah. I, I, That's more in a campfire. So I'm boning this chick. <laughs> Every thumbnail, that'd be great. Just make sure that all your, your viewers see the Bitcoin symbol. All right. So good morning. I slept pretty good last night. That was the, probably the best sleep that I can remember having on the trail. It sounds like a commercial and an ad, but I bought a new sleeping pad. It's a Nemo Tensor. It's not any, it's not rated much warmer than my old pad. It is a full length pad where my one was a three quarter in, uh, length, but this is air, just an air mattress, uh, insulated, but it's three inches thick when it's inflated. I was able to sleep without my arms falling asleep. I'm a side sleeper, so I didn't do nearly as much tossing around and turning as I normally do on my old pad. So a great night's sleep in the Hoosier National Forest. Um, I split out early. The rest of the guys are all back there having coffee and breakfast. We ended up with a, with a hiking guy. We ended up with a trail medic. We ended up with a guy that does bushcraft. We ended up with an adventurer and yes there was a hoot on the trail and myself we had a really good time out here in the Hoosier National Forest and I'm on my way home
Oh, and I forgot. For a while, we had a professor with us, too. At least that's what they call him. This is a pretty common find in Indiana, and I just found it crossing the river, but this is a piece, this is a fossil, and uh, you can find these all, You can. they're pretty easy to find, pretty common to find, especially down here in the southern part of Indiana, but another wonder of Hoosier National Forest. So this is the end of a really good outing, weekend of fun with some new friends and some new possibly hiking buddies. And uh, most important is, is the fact that building these relationships with people, I now have people I can contact for uh, a wide variety of different topics, uh, not, just regarding, um, not just regarding backpacking. Yeah, it's really nice meeting new people. Uh, just for the the uh, encyclopedia of information that they will be able to share with me in the future. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks to the guys who invited me on this trip. It was fun. I uh, hope to do it again sometime. And uh, I'll be seeing you.